The statistics class that day was about probability. The professor said that when we discover the possibility of a person or thing having a or b, the probability is greater than when they have both and b at the same time. Then he gave an example. Now, let's do an experiment. The question is, what kind of man is the most perfect? In other words, what kind of man would you most want to marry? Let's see how many <laughs> men fit this description. The classroom atmosphere immediately became lively, and all the girls were excited. He should be wealthy, earning at least 300,000 a year. Maybe we can find one in about 30 men. Classmates speak one after another. The professor forcefully wrote a 30th on the blackboard. He should be handsome. A short and chubby girl said. Another girl chimed in. Maybe we can find one out of 50. The professor smiled and said. One in 50, can we be a little more lenient? How about one in 20? He then wrote down a 20th. Everyone continued to offer their suggestions. Humor, sexiness, romance, success, and health. The corresponding probabilities were a 20th, a 40th, a 30th, a 30th, and over one. My classmate Jack sitting next to me let out a soft hum. A voice came from the back row. Loyalty. The girls burst into laughter, and it was finally determined that the corresponding probability was a 60th. Jack said to me, They're crazy, demeaning men so much without realizing what they themselves are like. The professor wrote the following equation on the blackboard. A 30th times a 20th times a 20th times a 40th times a 30th times a 30th times a 60th, resulting in a 25 billion 920 million. Finding a man like this is even harder than winning the lottery. The professor said with a smile. The question is, when you are lucky enough to encounter such a man, what is the probability that he would want you? The classroom fell silent for a moment and then burst into laughter. 